Good night, Miss Buckley. How are you? Hello, good night. I am blessed. Welcome, 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 welcome. We thank you for taking the time out. Um, you know, of, of what I can imagine is your a very, very busy schedule um, to come and, and speak with us tonight. Um, what, we, what we hope to gain from this encounter is to create some awareness um, around the world, you know, um, to help you throughout this process. Um, and, and, and may God be with you and, and your daughter at this time. And, and once again, I just want to thank you. And my heart and my prayers go out to you and your family. Um, Lara. Yes. Um, thank you for having me. Yes. Hopefully, as a, as a mother, my heart breaks for you. Um, and I've been thinking and praying about you since I've heard about the story, watching it on YouTube. Um, so I just want to let you know that from all of my heart. Um, Thank you now, very much. Thank you very much. Yes. yes. Um, no, I know where you were speaking on one of the, um, I think you did a live or so on YouTube. And right. you were, you know, mentioning that um, how this has devastated not only your life, but also your other daughter. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, can you touch on that a little bit to just to show how when something so um, horrible happens to us or our children, how it affects the entire family? Um, all right, I have a nine-year-old. Um, her name is Cheyenne. Um, the fact that um, because I have to be super busy, because most of my days are spent at the hospital, back and forth, getting meds, doing this, doing that. You know the whole run of organizing yeah. Kaylan's day and life and making sure that she stays afloat and, uh, and alive. Um, I've had to send Cheyenne to my sister's house. Um, so, and we were a very close family, um, me and my girls. We were very, very close, close-knit. And the fact that she's away from me you now, yesterday, to show you how serious it is, yesterday she sent me a, um, a WhatsApp message asking which one of us, um, which one of them I love the most. Is it her or is it Kaylan? Um, you know? And I must tell her the truth. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, Mommy, tell me the truth. Which one are we love the most, me or Kaylan? Um, you know, she's nine. She does not understand. No matter how much time you explain this to her, she will never get it. Because she's incapable of understanding from an adult's point of view the seriousness of what is happening. She does know it's very... Um, Kaylan is hurt real bad. And she, 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 and the reason why I actually sent her away as well is because I don't want her to constantly watch me break down. Because when I'm out, I might put on a good face mostly, but when I'm home, it's a totally different thing. And she's, she's, she's seeing all of this, and and she cries constantly. And mm. you know, it's really hard for her. Even at my sister's house, we've had to start getting counseling for her because she's acting up, and you know being disrespectful things that she wouldn't have normally done you know she she, she doesn't she you know this, this she had she's she's now it's like she's developing um, um a don't care attitude and you know it's 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 really hard because I, I i am so what i've started to do now i i spend the weekends with her so normally i should have gone this evening but because I had this um, and I didn't want the noise and even though the neighbors are making noise at the moment but <laughs> you understand yeah. um, you know, I'm trying to, to give her my weekend so I'll go Friday and I'll leave Monday when I'm going to the hospital so I would stay until Monday morning and go to the hospital leave from there to the hospital um, you know it's not an easy thing to try and balance two things, two different things for her because she's there, Kaylan is there, and I have to, and there are 
two different age groups, two different attitudes, two different, com two completely different children. And, you know, it's not, it's not an easy task because I have to now try and maintain a level of kinship and, and closeness to her, even though I'm not far. So I try to right. call her and talk to her every day. I try to, you know, chat with, chat and laugh with her every day, just the same on the phone, you know? And, and from time to time, even when I'm, I'm on the road, I just swing by. You understand? Right. and see her so I try I am trying I am trying it's not an easy task I have um, started getting counseling from her for her um, best thing Truth and fact is, it's hard to her in the environment, seeing everything that's going on, hearing everything that's going on. Because even though I do tell her, and I don't lie to her, but I do tend to water down the impact or the, the seriousness, right. you know, of what is really happening with her sister. Sound like you're doing an amazing job, and I know a mother's love because I have three daughters. It's endless. Right. Um, it's Right. You, you had um. Yes. Yeah, man. I'm, um. Good night, Miss Buckley. How you doing tonight? You looking good pretty night. well. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, um, Kaylin coming around though. All right. So, um, as of yesterday, Kaylin was doing pretty well. Two weeks ago, she had a seizure that set her back with the breathing because she started taking breaths of her own. Not not enough to be free from the vent, but at least she started making her own breaths. Not consistently, but we're still trying. Um, as of yesterday, um, well, her lungs just got tired, I guess. Because, yeah, she just said she was tired. The nurse said she said she was tired. And then she just stopped breathing. Um, yesterday, so she's, she, she's corresponding with people. Yeah, man, she's talking. Okay. She, can, okay. she speaks. She speaks um, not as good because she has in a trick. Yeah, she did a trick yesterday, um, um, a week ago, a week and a half ago, only two weeks. Um, so um, you know, she can't speak above the trick. So she's more like a whisper. So we have to do mostly lip reading then, in other words. Yeah. Yes. What about but her she, movement? Um, she's moving on the left side. There is movement on the left side. Um, she can wave this hand. She can call me. She, you know, but um, the right side now is where we're not getting anything much, anything from. Um, but you know, I'm still being hopeful, still giving thanks, you know, because yeah. it could have been a case where she was a complete vegetable, as the doctors had indicated in the beginning. Um, where we couldn't wouldn't be able to talk to her, wouldn't be able to she wouldn't be able she would just be there, um, based on what they had initially um said would happen. But God is God. So true. true. Working according to plan. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, yeah. She's not working oh, yeah, according true. to plan. Um yeah. yes. just just some words of encouragement, Miss Buckley. Um my my daughter uh is a cancer survivor. Um, when, when when you hear those when, when when doctors tell you certain things, and you know she was told that she wouldn't be able to have children even if she would um were were to survive. She's mm -hmm. been in clinical remission for eleven years. Um, mm -hmm. My grandson is four. My grandson is four years old. Hallelujah! There you go. So I know initially when I when I just came across this story. They were, they, I seen posted somewhere or in print somewhere that your daughter only had a one print chance of living. So to right. hear, so mm -hmm. to hear that he's reading lips, I mean, that you could read lips to hear that she's, you know, I trust and believe just like the song that I played prior to you coming on. He'll do it again. Right, he will. He definitely will. And I have no doubt to that. And that's one of the things that has kept me. Um, praying, trusting God, because you see, 
when man fails, God never fails. And man is has failed because they gave up, basically. Um, you know? And they were still there. The doctors are still trying. They're still doing what they're But basically, they didn't give me any hope. They didn't give me any any anything to hold on to. So I had to hold on to God. And that's what, you know, kept me sane and grounded. And, you know, I just told myself, look, you give when the doctor said, you know, we, we, the only one percent is just the fact that she opened her eyes. And I'm like, you know, everything inside of me just broke. Yeah. Just broke, 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 broke. And you know what I did? Even in the midst of that, I started crying and everything. And you know, when I turned to the doctor at the same time after that, and I said, you know what? You see that 1%? I'm going to hold on to that 1%. Because God can, t God will add those zeros, you know. <laughs> I'd have no doubt to it. So I just told them, I said, I'm going to hold on to this 1%. You know? I you know I'm I'm starting to think that I should I, I'm thinking of writing a book um and calling it one percent of faith. So you it, know it, it, it's, it's ironic but no, that one that percent. You see how you see how you see how the Lord works and brings kindred spirits together. Um I a lot of time I, I came across your story, like I said, through the vloggers. Um I'm 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 real a real personal person, so I don't want to take someone's version of a story and present that so i i had my people on the ground and up here do research and find you because i want them to hear it from you i don't want to take something from your page or take something that somebody else said and 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 you know try to articulate that you know so it's better come from you and that's why you know it's such an well, honor to so have you here right and people misconstrue things so yeah. now that they're hearing it directly yeah. from you. Right, because there's been lots of false stories, accusations. Right. But, right. but this, brings me, this brings me to why I said, watch how the Lord works in mysterious ways. You just said that you wanted to write a book. Uh, Laura is a very good it's friend me. of mine. She's not necessarily a part of... Um, overall settings, but I wanted her to be here because she's a mother just like you, but she's also an, right. she's also an author. She's also an award-winning author. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so that's my, so that's I, I, honestly, I honestly don't even know how to write a book, but I have a lot to we say. Talk, and I, yes, reach out to me whenever you're ready. I will be at your service. And I'm, um, and I'm in that. I definitely. You that? <laughs> <laughs> you saw that work? All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. I've, yeah. I've been thinking about it. And I want to, I wa you know, there's a lot of things that I, I have learned during this. Even my entire life has been a journey mm -hmm. and has been a rough journey. But um, I tend not to talk about that because it's not my time. Right. You know, it's Kaylan's right. time, and 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 I will I will get to me when it's time for me. Yeah, right. you know. But right. yeah, you know, I went for all my corner, man. I know when to hold my corner. <laughs> exactly. So you know, exactly. and, you know, I'm I try, I tend to be selfless. I try try to be as selfless as pos possible. I I don't try to to emphasize much on me. Sometimes people say you need to put yourself first some of the time. You know, I do. But right now, it's not about me. It's about Kaylan. And Kaylan needs me more than anyone and, or anything right now. Well, you know, well, she needs God more. Mm. But, you know, I am her front man or her wing man or whatever man you want to call it, mm. right, at the moment. And, you know, I'm just yeah. trying to write yeah. by her and put in as much energy yeah. And, and 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 you know prayer and and and, yeah. and as much um work i can put in to make sure that she does stay afloat um presently today you know um yesterday she was not doing well she also has an infection that we're trying to 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 figure yeah. out well the doctors and microbiology they are trying to figure out um the source of the infection, they have not located the source, but they have located, um, um, what do you call it, 
determine the type of bacteria then, in other words, that we're dealing with. So we're still, they're still running blood cultures and urine samples and blood tests and all kind of stuff, trying to figure out um, what is going on. She has, she's supposed to do some x-rays as well, you know, to rule out some things, pneumonia, this, that, that, um, you know. Um, her kidneys are, are, are acting up as well. She's retaining a bit of fluid and all of that. So there's a lot going on with her. Well, they're still, you know, funny enough, um, even though she's a miracle, because they don't understand. Come on. They're still, they're still ifing, you know. When you see God work and you watch God work, I think you should eliminate ifs. But they're doctors and they believe in science. I believe in God. So there's still so there's this still they still have this window open that she might not make it, but I cancel that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cancel that. So um you know, because based on her injuries, they they're still thinking that you know it could go along that way. Um, even though she's she's doing what they said she would have ever done. Kaylan has had seven cardiac arrests, a total of seven. The last one lasted 20 minutes. So her heart stopped for 20 minutes. The one before that was five minutes. The one before one minute, one minute, four minutes, two minutes, and six minutes. So she's had a lot of cardiacs. She has a pacemaker in now. We had to put a pacemaker in to stop the heart from shutting down because any movement of her body would cause her heart rate to drop. So we put a pacemaker in, even though they said the pacemaker has not been used as yet because she has not had a need for it. So her heart has been beating on its own since we put it in. Got it good. So we know we should talk about that half in it way. Me not worry. Me just trust God, right? Um, moving forward, no. The plan is to try and get her off the vent because we, we, we every, several times we got to the point where she was breathing somewhat and they were trying to wean her, and then something happened. She had a seizure. She had a cardiac. She had, as in yesterday, she had. She just got tired, as they said. She just said she was tired, and then she just went to sleep and shut down. So um, the C2 spinal injury is very serious because um, what the doctors are seeing in the MRI is that the spinal cord was cut. And it's it's a high C2. It's not a low C2. It's a high C2. And it, um, it's above her breathing level, her motor skills level. Um, so her diaphragm is not um, expanding the way it should she's not so it's harder for her to take breaths even though some signal is not going through where she can actually attempt or try and breathe on her own but it's not consistent so after a time she just it, as it, it's as if it, it's worn or she just gets tired so she just she actually gets tired of breathing for, her, for herself and then she just stops and that's where we there's a ventilator um that she she's always has to be they're saying that she might always need a ventilator. I am. I beg to differ, because as I said, I can't trust man. I have to trust God. So you know, but but there's evidence that there's healing going on because she has feeling in her body now. She can yeah. feel if you touch her. Sometimes she's cold. Sometimes she's hot. Sometimes she feels like she's on fire. Sometimes you understand. Sometimes you touch her. It, she says it burns. It, it, there's a lot of mixed signals, feelings. Doctors say it might be a good thing. They say it might not. They say where she is now, she might progress from it. They also say she might not. So there's a lot of ifs and may, buts and maybes going on. And so right now, um, we're just trying to wean her. That's where the point we want to get where we can take her off that machine. Um, there are some tests that there are some tests that I requested that I requested to be done and uh, some of them are not able to be done here um, um there's one test that would would, would um that is um to be done that was requested to be done that they said would have 
give the given more clarity and it's a more microscopic MRI, um, you know, a small, uh, you know, something to, to, but unfortunately, that's another, that's another glitch for us because, you know, this is a third world country and we are limited to resources. So there are several, there are several things that, that can be done or I could say to give us clarity. Might not be a fix or not, might not be able to, to, to solve the issue or the problem that we're having, but it can give us a better understanding on what, of what we're dealing with. We can't do these things here, unfortunately, a lot of them, um, as I, I was explained to me um, by doctors. So, so that's I was thinking of moving her overseas, mm -hmm. um, but um, at the time when I was thinking of doing it, she was unstable because she would be fine today and then tomorrow she might not be fine, right? I, or she'd be fine this morning and by evening she's not fine because we had a huge problem with maintaining her, maintaining her own BP. Um, and that was a huge factor causing the heart rate to keep dropping. Now she's been able to do that. And so, they, you know, she's a bit more stable. So I'm, I'm, I'm begin, um, believe I'm going to try and look in that direction. No. Even with the therapy, newer therapy, they say that um, they, um, you know, in the States it's more advanced where they can do more for her, where um, rehab therapy is concerned and things like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm weighing the options of, of doing that at the moment because no matter what, how small the improvement may be, I am up to it. And I'm just pushing to get the best care for her as possible so that she has a bigger chance of making it. Yeah. I heard you made mention um, earlier this week of her needing blood as well. Yes, her blood count um, keeps going down. Blood count keeps dropping. At the moment, her white blood cell platelets are up because, as you know, she's fighting an infection. And the, the meds that she's put on now, as they said, um, when you go on these type of medications, it's when you already exhausted all the others. So, so, so you understand? So this is a high dosage. Uh, um, 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 so she's highly doped up, I would say. Yeah, she's on some heavy medication. Um, it was not good for her because one was affecting her liver and, and they had to stop, stop that medication. Right for the one for the seizure, it was affecting her liver, right? And you know, we had to to that, that was the dilantin, right? That was affecting the liver. They had to discontinue continue use of that medication. Um, so you know, and now her kidneys are acting up. So it's a whole lot. It would be you know, it's a whole lot going on. She needs blood because of um um her her. Her blood count keeps going down. Um, so, and as they said, the blood bank here is dry at the moment, based on the fact that we have COVID and a lot of trauma coming in, and a lot of people, persons needing blood, and then nobody's actually going to the blood bank at the time because at uh, this period, because you know everybody's staying put because of COVID. Um, so you know, but have, a few persons have gone to to donate blood on her behalf. You know, and I must thank them as well. So um, hopefully she has not been given a transfusion as yet. Um, she And I must say this, she has been having blood transfusions from time to time since this incident happened. So it's not the first. It's, yes, over time she has been given several transfusions based on the fact that her, 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 her HB level keep going down. So... Um, yeah, so right now, Kaylan is today. She's calm and nice and talking again. Um, still on the mat, still, still not back where I want her to be, where the breathing is concerned. Because we were, we were, I was so excited. Oh my god, I was so excited, you know, for the little push and the little transition that she was making where the breathing is concerned. And then it's heart wrenching to see her just go back to square one again. So it's as if we keep starting over every time we reach a plateau where she's supposed to transition over to another you know to the mask or something to for her to get beyond her way out of the icu unit then she goes back to square one so trust me 
It's rough. It's rough. Lyra? Yes. So I know um, when I saw the video of Kaylan on YouTube, she was singing and, you know, she was like, what else can you tell us about her? As far wow. as you know, her personality and things that she loves to do. Yes, Kaylan is a class clown. Um, mm -hmm. She's the life of the party. Kaylan, she has a lot of friends because she's, she's, she's loved. Because, you know, you're the, the comedian of the class. I don't know where yeah. she's always she's always acting, doing skits, doing things like that, you know, playwriting, things like that. She loves because her she wants to go to Edna. Well, I had decided for her to do business, and then you know, based on her personality traits and everything, you know, we said, you know what, better you Edna. So she had started pre university at UWI. Um, um in entrap she was doing entrepreneurship um and, and business right but we decided that we, she was only going to do this one year would have finished um june coming and um june july and then she would have i would have enrolled her into edna manley right school of visual arts you know edna right so for her to do um um Media personality, acting, whatever she wants to do, basically, right? Because that's her, and she can sing beautifully. She loves to sing, and yes. she wanted to. Yes, she wanted to go into yeah, entertainment. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? I heard her. I heard her sing before. Right. <laughs> Right, that was my birthday, September gone. <laughs> yeah. oh, Man, she, she's 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 not, you know, she's a typical teenager. Your birthday, I Fifteen times, but pretty much she's not a bad kid. I don't mean I have to work and search for her. I don't have to be wondering where she is, you know. Right. If she's going out, I will take her mostly. If she's going anywhere, I will drop her off, pick her up. You know, things like that. It's not someone that um I have to be calling any police for or to wondering where are calling people asking you have you seen her? No, I don't have these problems with her. Sometimes I have to ask her if she can't come out of the house. <laughs> she's in her in the room on the phone. So, you know. And you know it's 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 hard. It's really hard, hard. You know, cause when she's here, she's always singing, always. You always have, you always hear our voice. If she a bed, she a sing. If she a wash plate, she a sing. If she a cook, she a sing. If she a in the room, she a sing. She oh, she's a music person. She loves music. She loves music. You know, and that's just one of the, the hard things to, to to be here most times. And sometimes even me go to Kekwe and then I remember she's not here. You understand? So it is you know, I am trying my best to cope and to be as strong as possible, but a person can only be as strong, you know, as they can be. But sometimes we all have a point where we break. We all have a point where we, 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 we feel weak, a point where we, you know, we just had enough of everything and, and we just can't do it anymore. So we just have to just, sometimes I cry too. And, and you know, most times when I leave the hospital, 
I would just go in my and my cry, just scream yeah, and cry and scream and scream and scream and scream and scream, and scream <laughs> until I feel better. Then I will drive off. You know. So, especially when you when you when you when she's not doing well, especially when she's not doing well. As yesterday, she wasn't doing well, and and I was so upset. I was so mad. I, I trust me, I got so upset. They had to be telling me, "Mommy, you need to calm down." But I just I just didn't want to hear any crap, and I just and and I needed answers, and I wasn't getting the answers that I need. And and I, I was just, I, I almost lost it yesterday in there. I almost lost it yesterday because the day before we were about to start the trait mask, and then today when I come, my child is not moving. She's not responding. She's not waking up because she wasn't waking up. No matter I was shaking her, moving, and no matter what I did, she was just not getting up. You know. Well, mommy, I've been, I've been, I've been. Um... At, the, at those moments, um, like I said, you know, um, there's no testimony without tests. There's, right. no there's no message without mess. Right. And, and as long as you're going through something, yeah. then that means you're moving. Right. Ah. Uh, you know? Buckley, people share his part and you share yours. I never share mine, you know. Mm -hmm. I was at the funeral when I get a call that my first son died in Jamaica, 19 years old. Yeah. That mm -hmm. killed him. Yeah. So, you know, we can actually share the pain. Mm -hmm. And you have to really feel it for share it, you know. So, yeah, he was 19 years old. But a true believer in the creator, never lose mm -hmm. courage. Never lose courage. Never lose courage. And as he promised, you know, some have to go, some have to stay. And everybody over there. And he's one of the strong ones, you know, who put it out there. And I really love how you really keep it up anyway. And trust me, it's a good it's a good thing, you know, let people know, say, you know, good parents is still out there for them pick me and everything is, you know, no matter what, come kill me next. So you know, you have to congratulate upon the party. Yeah, you know, they 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 try to intimidate me, but um, you know, the child is a child, you know. So it go, you know. Yeah, yeah, everything. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. With, with God, man, you're not a stumbling block, man. Stumbling block, don't right. one, one of the main things um that brought us here, you know, even though we're a relatively small and new platform. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like awareness is is, is, is essential. Um, there might be somebody out there watching this who, who, who can lend a hand, yeah. do something to, 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 to just add some, like every, like we're in, in my midst of trouble, help came from all about. Yeah. And I'm saying, and, 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 you know, and, and I have to, one way that I keep blessings in rotation is by offering this platform to you. I might not have a million dollar for gear. I say, Mama, here, but, but at the end of the day, if somebody out here is listening, if somebody out here wants to help, one person, share the life, share the life to, to somebody out here who may hear. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's why I said, the most to adjust. You never hear this lady come by your life and beg one dollar. No. Right. You understand? So, but 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 it takes a village. Yeah. yeah. You know. So so this this is about awareness, people. This is this is about us helping each other, cause that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man, the most yeah, I mean, no man, no man, no man, no woman, no child is an island. None. The yeah. world we need each other. Them say and, out of many, one people. Yeah, man. Exactly. So yeah. that's what this is about. That's yeah. that's why. And I'm, and I'm so Miss Miss Buckley could could be anywhere in the world right now. She she's supposed to be with her younger daughter, and she's here talking to us. Yeah, and, and, and we really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. 
Um, like she said in a, go ahead, Lauren. No, I was, I also, cause you know, I was, was following you a little bit on YouTube, trying to find all your videos. I know you were mentioned that there were some account that was set up, you know, like GoFundMe people are working people. If people are watching and they want to help, what's the actual place you can turn it to? And you should be able to pin it, right, Elfico? When you yeah, I'm gonna, it, as soon as she tells me, I'm going to type it in here. Yeah. Right. Um. The go the GoFundMe is organized by Angela May Kelly. Um, oh, you got it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's in the group right now too, and I'm gonna post that. Angela May Kelly. Angela okay. Angela May Kelly. Okay. She, she that's the organizer for the GoFundMe. There's only one GoFundMe, one only one GoFundMe that we have, and it's organized by Angela May Kelly. Any other GoFundMe is fake. Okay. Um, we have um, the cash app is pound sign, as in the currency pound sign. Pound sign just for Kalan, and that's and that is being done by Chavel Car Clark. That's those two persons are my per, my my blood sisters. Mommy, give me that cash app again, please. Pound sign. Uh huh. Pound yeah, pound as in currency pound, as in right. Okay. 